Hello everyone, this is Priyanka and today I am going to tell you Hershey Chase experiment. So let's start our topic Hershey Chase experiment. Hershey and Chase conducted an experiment in the year 1952 to identify DNA to be a genetic material. Okay. For this experiment, they used phase. Now, what is this phase? This phase, a phase is a virus. This phase is a virus that infects bacteria okay this phase is a virus that infects bacteria for this experiment they used T2 bacteriophage now what is this bacteriophage consists and what is the diagram of this Structure. What is the structure of this T2 bacteriophage? This T2 bacteriophage consists DNA which is surrounded by protein. Okay. I am going to show you the structure of T2 bacteriophage. This is the structure. These are the tails fibers. It consists DNA. This is DNA which is surrounded by protein. And it consists sheet. This is the structure of T2 bacteriophage. Okay. This T2 bacteriophage consists nucleic acid which is surrounded by protein and they link themselves nicely to determine whether DNA is genetic material or this protein is genetic material. Okay. For this experiment, they used bacteria called E. coli okay they used E. coli and they used radiotope soap and they used radiotope soap sulfur and phosphorus for their experiment they used first T2 bacteriophage then bacteria E. coli okay and they use radiotopes of sulfur and phosphorus why they use radiotopes of sulfur and phosphorus they use because to separate to separate track of to separate the track of viral protein and nucleic acid so during the infection during infection process they separate the track of viral protein and nucleic acid now they label this radiotops of sulfur they use radiotops sulfur of s35 
and for phosphorus they used 35 phosphorus how you will remember remember like this s means sulfur p means phosphorus sulfur it's look like something it looks like something 5 so 35 it's also look like s yes. sorry for the phosphorus they use 32 32 phosphorus remember s 35 3 5 this 5 is also look like s so they use s 35 s and for phosphorus they use 32 phosphorus now they start they start take to identify which one is the genetic material so what they did first first they took phosphorus 32 32 phosphorus labeled phase and they mixed with unlabeled E. coli. In first step, they used 32 phosphorus mixed with unlabeled E. coli. Here, they found P32, means 32 phosphorus label phase enter into the E. coli cell. And in next generation, they found significant amount of amount of 32 phosphorus label phase. So in first, what they did, they used 32 phosphorus labeled phase and they mixed with unlabeled E. coli cell. Here they found 32 phase phosphorus label phase enter into the E. coli cell and they saw in the next generation they found significant amount of phosphorus 32 label phase. Then they used 35 sulfur labeled phase and they mixed with unlabeled E. coli cell. Here they found 35 phosphor, uh, 35 sulfur labeled phase does not enter into E. coli cell and in next generation They don't get significant amount of this 35 sulfur. Okay. First what they did? They used... 32 in first time they used 32 phosphorus label phase and they mixed with unlabeled E. coli they found this 32 phosphorus label phase enter into the E. coli and in next generation they found significant amount of phosphorus 32 level in the next step in the next time they used 35 sulfur label phase 
and they mixed with unlabeled E. coli, they found 35 sulfur labeled phase does not enter into the E. coli cell and in next generation, they don't get significant amount of 35 sulfur label. Hence, they demonstrated that what they demonstrated? They demonstrated that outer protein coat of a phase does not enter does not enter bacterium to infect whereas the inner material what is this inner material nucleic acid DNA enters into this bacteria cell and they said DNA is responsible for the production of the new phase okay they said the dna is responsible for the production of new phase and this the outer protein does not enter into the bacterial cell hence they said that dna to be a genetic material okay they demonstrated the outer protein coat does not enter into the bacteria and the inner material that dna enters into the bacterial cell and during the process of infection this dna is responsible for the production of new phase and they said DNA must be the genetic material this is the experiment of Hershey and Chase thank you for watching my video